Hello and uh, welcome to uh, uh, the uh, 2023 first webinar series for the Portuguese Golden Visa presented by the Lakhani Group uh, uh, group of companies. My name is uh, Rahim Lakhani and uh, I have the pleasure today to have this uh, uh, open conversation with you uh, to discuss uh, uh, amongst various things uh, the Portuguese Golden Visa. Uh, so let's uh, let's go right dive right in. And uh, before we do that, uh, let's actually do a quick uh, uh, temperature check. And then, um, you know, please put your cell phones and uh, uh, devices on on mute so you can actually enjoy the next uh, forty five minutes to an hour in terms of a session. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Uh, feel free to ask any questions that you may have during this time uh, in terms of Golden Visa, in terms of Portugal, or anything that you think is uh, relevant to the discussion and uh, we may have not covered, or if you have new topics, feel free to suggest those as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, before we jump in, uh, let's have uh, a quick overview of uh, Portugal and uh, what, the, uh, what the environment here in Portugal looks like. So here it is. Why do so many investors fall in love with Lisboa? Easy, there's no other city that combines this beautiful view with the beauty of these numbers. Lisboa is the closest European capital to the United States, South America and Africa, with 250 departures every day, and being the only capital in mainland Europe sharing the same time zone with the British capital, with more than 300 days of sunshine throughout the year. Lisboa is surrounded by more than 20 wonderful golf courses, only four train stations away from the beach, and just one hour drive from Nazaré, home of the biggest waves on the planet. Selected to be the 2020 European Green Capital, Lisboa transforms ecological concerns into reality, being the first European city to have a municipal fleet where 100% of light vehicles are electric, a huge recharging network with more than 540 stations, and 100% of the city lights running with LED technology. Innovation and adaptation are part of the mindset. With 90 colleges that produce 30,000 graduates a year, with 60% of them in business, tech or math degrees. No wonder Lisboa attracts global investment from all around the globe into our entrepreneurial community, an ecosystem dedicated to helping new businesses where two new startups are created every day. With more than 100 co-working spaces spread all over Lisboa and with a 90 kilometer bike lane that reaches all corners of the city, it's so easy to enjoy the view commuting to work using one of the 2,150 shared bikes and 5,500 soft mobility vehicles. How about this? Lisboa is well known as a city that embraces diversity and welcomes all kinds of races, ethnicities and religious beliefs. All that in a city with seven Michelin-starred restaurants and this sunset included. So, how about investing in Lisboa? Lisboa, the beautiful side of business. Awesome. So uh, hopefully you were able to, um, you know, listen and enjoy the video that we had. It's a short uh, one minute uh, video uh, that uh, that basically uh, shows you what Portugal is all about, the various uh, sceneries, you know, how Portugal has developed over the last, uh, uh, let's say, uh, five years. Really, the main development and investment has really come through. Uh, you know, thanks to this amazing scheme called uh, the Golden Visa. So the last five, seven years is really where their big push has been. And uh, today I have the opportunity to discuss with you uh, the 280,000 Golden Visa, uh, 280,000 euro uh, eligible properties that we have in Portugal. And, uh, you know, so feel free to, to ask your questions and then let's go dive right in. Um, so I have the pleasure today to introduce to you something that we have been working as the group for quite a bit of time and uh, the project's name is called Palacio de Sol and we are uh, truly blessed to be uh, in partnership with Wyndham, uh, Wyndham Portugal, Wyndham um, you know, as a mother brand and uh, um, which is headquartered of, obviously in United States and uh, has over 9,200 properties. 
so we will be franchised uh, in the uh, in the operational stage under the brand of uh, Wyndham Garden specifically and the name of the project uh, is Palacio de Sol so uh, uh, for english uh, uh, speakers it basically is uh, the palace of the sal uh, and it is in an area called alcacer do sal so let me actually show you where this project is and uh, what 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 we're talking all about okay um so just uh, some uh, quick introduction about myself uh, as i mentioned my name is uh, rahim lakhani and uh, and uh, i'm i have the pleasure here to um, you know bring to you this this particular investment of golden visa and uh, um, as a lakhani group uh, uh, has been uh, over the last 38 years we've been in existence in several different uh, countries uh, four countries to be specific in india in uh, portugal in canada and in united states and uh, you know we have been very blessed to be now in the last uh, four years to be in portugal uh, truly it has been a blessing uh, and uh, uh with uh, with the people that we have interacted over the last few years uh with the environment that we are in uh with uh, the the culture that portugal has to offer so we are truly blessed by uh by uh, being in this country although i'm a canadian my my partners who is my family they are from the us they've spent a lot of time out there um of course uh, originally from from india uh, my wife who uh, studied in london and uh, uh, one of my sisters also is australian and her family is australian and but we are now gathered here in portugal and i think it's quite astonishing for a lot of people to know uh, why we are here and what is our story so we we have been uh, you know uh, very very blessed here with the environment that uh, that uh, portugal has offered to us and our journey started very similarly from uh, you know the the from on the other side you may be looking at a golden visa and your journey is just about to to begin and so our journey started 5 years ago so there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of anxiousness and this is why we are here to try to mitigate and, and give you some answers uh, regardless of you invest with us or not okay so um you know being a european citizen uh, it is uh, now in our journey and uh, this is basically this particular type of visa or residency permit is giving us giving you and your family this route where uh, you know you may be in a home country somewhere where uh, you are stable today but uh, we don't know if that is going to be the future you know a year from now or 3 years from now or 5 years from now so for a lot of people this is sort of a plan b but uh, for a lot of people now this plan b who invested let's say 5 years ago has become plan a and uh, and a lot of people have actually even moved permanently you know because they had this planned for the last 3 uh, to 5 years okay so let's talk about very simply why portugal okay um many people have many reasons i have my own reasons of course um you know i come from canada uh, where you have a very strong uh, you know political and social stability at the same time you have uh, very good access to free and universal healthcare there but you achieve that here um you know as a canadian there is uh, a bit of harsher winters uh, in the uh, in the uh, in those areas versus in portugal the weather is absolutely gorgeous absolutely fantastic so this is one of the reasons that could be for you to look at uh, you know portugal more favorably um more importantly though for a lot of families is uh, safety you know we have several investors who we meet on a day to day basis where they say their home country is not as safe as it used to be uh and they are always worried about their children about uh, their businesses about themselves um so so having that peace of mind is always something that uh, you know uh, is top of mind and so this country portugal does offer that amazing um safety net of course like any other metro city it has you know the most in uh, modern infrastructure and access to a world class education 
but also very importantly it has a very favorable tax uh, tax regime as well and uh, you know depending on the type of businesses that you do or depending on the type of uh, jobs that you do there may be areas where you can actually have a very strategic tax uh, tax benefit like the nhr scheme as an example so um, you know please feel free to talk to us about this and we can help you kind of navigate those roadblocks that you may face in your own home country so not one reason for everyone there's something and it may not even be listed here but there is always a reason for for everyone now of course we also have to look at the uh, cost of living because as we all know cost of living in many parts of the world especially given the rising cost of inflation it is a worrisome idea so if your job allows you to work remotely uh, and you know you are, or, and you are considering you know those uh, drop shipping or whatever it may be you know you may actually be able to move out to portugal and do your uh, do your work from you know wherever the wherever your work is originally right so this is a total possibility and while you are thinking of doing this you could do a golden visa so you have your residency and you don't have this kind of uh, fixation let's say so if you want to be here uh, in portugal for 3 months you want to be in another part of the world for another 3 months and then back in your home country for 6 months well you can still be eligible for your residency under the golden visa scheme and you will still be down the road after 5 years eligible for a passport you know so this is one of the best things about golden visa is that it allows you to take away that restriction that you know in for example the south asian countries may have only a limited amount of visa period versus the north american or canada and us have you know uh, 90 days out of 180 days but if you want to stay longer then you have this whole visa issue that could come up right so uh, these are some of the important considerations if you want to look truly look at the freedom and mobility uh, which is really a currency nowadays if you believe me so uh, one more one more thing is of course top of mind for everyone who is uh, who is uh, uh, looking for this kind of solution is uh, well let's say uh, life expectancy you know uh, sad to say but in some south asian countries uh, the life expectancy is very much i mean if you hit 50 north of 50 you really living a bonus life versus out in portugal you are really in that high uh, 75 and 80 zone i mean not of course everyone has different things but on average this is something that is uh, very visible in portugal and throughout europe of course you know so these are small small indexes and in, on how you as a person would be treated you know in terms of happiness in terms of you know the the time you spend at work versus the quality time that you spend with the family right so these are small things that in the larger scheme of things uh, makes total sense for uh, for you okay then uh, now let's talk about golden visa Okay. So, what is a golden visa? So, first of all, let me tell you, it's not a visa. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what is it? So, it is actually a path to residency. Okay. It is not a path to citizenship directly, but it is firstly a path to citizenship uh, to residency. So, once you make that investment, you are eligible for what you call as a TRC, which is a temporary residence card, which will allow you. to do a visa free travel in the schengen zone which is now 27 countries by the way croatia just joined as of january 1st 2023 you have the right to live study and work in portugal um, of course as you are a resident uh, and the best part well of course free healthcare but the best part is that you do not have to be tied down to the country you can still be that free bird you can still go along and you know be in other parts of uh, schengen other parts of europe other parts of other areas and you can still continue to have your golden visa and your uh, temporary residency card valid uh, you know when it comes for the renewal time so this is the best part you don't have to be physically tied to the country if you don't want to be of course if you want to be you're totally welcome to do so this is a choice that the government puts in your hand versus in the government's hand because you are making an investment of money versus the investment of time okay so that is your um, you know flexibility that you have 
So, and then after the five year eligibility, five year of maintaining your investment, you can either apply for the permanent residency card or a passport or European passport. And that will, of course, give you a visa free access to over 185 countries that number fluctuates up and down but you get the gist uh, that it is a very um, you know highly ranked passport according to several indexes of course as an uh, as a citizen you have the voting rights and then it opens up a new thing that you are now a european union citizen which means that you have the right to live study and work in any of the european union countries and that is actually a very big achievement because you are looking at EU at almost close to 800 to 850 million people versus let's say in uh, in the US which is 300 million or in Canada which is 30 million so in terms of the more modern infrastructure in terms of the more uh, access to opportunities you have a much larger market and a multi multitude of different uh, different uh, markets to actually go from like like Spain, like Belgium, like Germany. Uh, so you really have opened up an opportunity box for your uh, for your future and for your children's future. Okay. So this is now one of the best parts is who actually is eligible in the same investment. So of course you've got the primary applicant who makes the application of the golden visa, but you also have your spouse. Of course, same sex is uh, eligible and uh, you have the minor children who are under the age of 25. Now, in some cases, uh, you know, you also have the adult children if they are dependent and single, parents and parents-in-law. So this is actually a very, very large family definition. So what I would suggest, you know, from a perspective of uh, legal opinion, contact us. We have several lawyers here who can give you exactly the requirement based on your family structure. So speak to them, understand, and then make a conscious decision. Okay. Now, um, let's talk about the physical presence requirement very quickly. So this is actually the least uh, place when it compares to all the other, when it comes to the final receiving of the passport. So there are golden visas all throughout Europe. Okay, let's be honest, you can Google golden visa Spain, golden visa Greece, and you will find a latitude of golden visas. However, what is very important is that when it comes to the passport, you always are restricted in other countries where you have to be physically present for X number of years, even if you have had the temporary residency card for that five year period. Okay, so after the TRC, you can apply for a permanent residency, but to be eligible for a passport, you have to stay physically in those countries for X amount of time as displayed on the screen. So this is a big no-no. I mean, of course, we know for Canada, you can have your permanent residency card, but after that, you have to be physically present for the next three out of five years. Okay, And depending on which uh, you know uh, program you may be, you may have to be relocated to other provinces also, which may or may not be to your liking. So this is actually you know, the least physically straining place that you can be. And so what I'm driving the point home is that for a lot of businessmen and women, you may not be able to actually physically leave your particular home country. And this is exactly the reason why Portugal makes the most sense versus other countries if you're looking for the passport, okay, uh, after the five-year period. So this is very, very important for you to know. Now, some statistics directly from the CEF, which is the Servico de Estrangeros from Tyrish, which is uh, uh, basically the immigration authority in Portugal. These are the statistics directly from their website. And what is something that is very interesting to note is that over the last 10 years, the main nationalities have been China, Brazil, Turkey. But recently, there has been a huge shift. Now you have a lot of applications coming in from us uk and india especially so this is very interesting because we have a lot of uh, you know investment coming in from these three countries versus you think about the passport strength of especially us and uk very very strong and even though they are still investing out in portugal why very simply all the other reasons that i mentioned above which is you know safety you know peace of mind quality of life 
you know, um, Brexit. So these are some of the big reasons why investing in a European country like Portugal makes a lot of sense. Of course, for India, we all understand that uh, this is uh, a country that, you know, the access to travel freedom is not there. And this is something that uh, currently, uh, you know, Indian passport holders are restricted. So now when you have businesses in Europe, you always have to go for a visa. You know, visa to France, visa to, and you, we all know, VFS uh, and the appointments and the delays that are associated with that. So what is the alternate? This is your alternate where you can get a temporary residency card, have visa free access to the Schengen zone. And after five years, 185 countries. So this is why the Indian passport, uh, Indian origin people are also interested. Okay. Let me uh, welcome you to our project now, which is your basically your path to uh, the passport, your path to the residency program. And so uh, here I welcome you, Palacio de Sol. Okay, Palacio de Sol is basically, um, like I mentioned earlier, a, a project in an area called Alcasa de Sol. And this is the uh, aerial view of that particular project and you can see here the uh, building as well as the uh, parking and you know the the areas in the back as well okay so uh, Alcasa de Sal beautiful town absolutely gorgeous absolutely you know phenomenal it's like a little bit of a jewel in uh, in the in the neck of Portugal okay so this is uh, how I can I describe it and this picture actually is taken from the project site. So you can see how gorgeous, you know, the, the whole area is and how gorgeous your sunrise and sunsets would be when you are a tourist in this hotel. So uh, from a distance standpoint, it is only 55 minutes drive from Lisbon. So we are not talking about deeper interior regions like uh, uh, Beja or uh, uh, you know, uh, closer to the border of Spain or something in the north or, you know, uh, Doru or even Algarve, okay? We are talking only 55 minutes and this is the first region that qualifies essentially, you know, when you drive out south, the one of the first regions for the 280,000 golden visa. So, uh, this, is, this is eligible for the low-cost investment. Okay. Now you, for this particular project, it is very important to note that you have a, a land route, but also a sea route. So you can actually take a ferry from Stubal and you can go, you, you know, watching the dolphin tours and watching the, the whale watching tours down all the way to, from Comporta, from Costa de Galay, all the way into Alcázar del Sol. So you can have actually a very beautiful and scenic route to the hotel as well as a tourist. Okay. And here I'm projecting to you exactly what uh, the downtown core looks like. So this project is perfectly situated in the heart of downtown. Again, to impress upon you, not in the interior regions of Portugal, uh, but in very much a hustle and bustle area, which always is vibrant with people, vibrant with restaurants, vibrant with uh, you know uh, people who have historic interests, vibrant with families with conferences, with companies and, and whatnot. So this is basically a project that is demanding success. Okay. Now some uh, statistics, I won't spend too much time with, but one thing that I want to note, this particular project, at least at the current time, is 70 to 80% domestic tourism and 20 to 30% international tourism. So uh, I will never say, okay, you go on Google and this will be the top most uh, area to visit in Portugal. That is not true. This is an interior part, uh, you know, this is a growing area, a development area, but it has all the elements and factors to be one of the top most areas to be in terms of tourism, okay? But it is not yet, but it is a very growth potential place. The perfect thing is for you as an investor, the construction already is at a 70% constructed. So this is a perfect time for you to be a part of this project where the construction is already at a 70% complete. And we hope to deliver uh, with our uh, the construction ongoing. We hope to deliver by quarter two of 2024. You are seeing 
a picture that is actually the construction of this particular project um, you know as opposed to other projects where you are only seeing land or you know only seeing drawings or only seeing oh this will be in the future and blah 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 none of that you are seeing a building that is a new building under the aru which is the area of rehabilitation it is under that area that is why it's qualified for the golden visa and that is uh, that and it's a new uh, building under the rehabilitation program okay so these are some things that you have um, that is uh, for the hotel and you can always go to the website on the bottom windomportugal.com sign up from the bottom as a first time user and you will get access to all of this information in a moment's notice we don't need to send you anything or you know all the q a all the architecture all the contracts and documents everything is out there and i'll do a quick demo of the website as well in the end of the session so here are some pictures you can see rooftop bar you can see conference center you can see you know um the the layout of the uh, of the individual rooms you can see a big yard in the back for you know several uh, for the exterior pool for the exterior garden uh, you know you can see the patio size here extremely vibrant you can see the garden on the rooftop as well there is an interior garden and hence the Wyndham garden brand um, that suits the most you have a private area with 15 suites and a private space for a bar and your your own private events so very very uniquely designed hotel that suits your needs for private and both public gatherings as well okay so uh, here we drive the point home palacio de sol this is a total construction of 4891 square meters and uh, you know you have the opportunity today to be one of the co-owners of this hotel okay now, here is the final picture of what the deal is to be presented. We have 110 investors in total that we will uh, bring together in this particular project. It's a 75 room, 60 rooms and 15 executive suites in this, uh, in this total uh, project. 280,000 is the minimum investment that you must do according to the Golden Visa law we will provide a 30,000 euro upfront yield as a return of your investment for six years okay so no two percent three percent four percent per year but everything upfront we also pay the imt we pay the vat we pay the imi so basically all the taxes for your next six years on top of that we are providing a seven day free stay with your family okay in any of our tlg owned hotels okay so we have two projects at the current moment and we have three more that are launching in the next years so you can stay every year in a different property with your family for the next seven days after the seven days we provide a 50 percent discount on the tariff rate okay so you want to spend 14 days together uh, you know at a stretch and you'll be eligible for the uh, 14 day in the two year period of your golden visa you can do that 50 percent discount on the tariff okay so the deal cannot be uh, you know more than more than this we also have a firm that is uh, called iis and you know the lawyers in the firm will provide you with all the services all the legal services that will assist you in making the application towards the golden visa okay so this is something that is an added bonus as well okay now let's look at the reception very much brand new top of line no compromise on the materials you know everything really top notch uh, you can see the spa designed by you know some of the well known architects and engineers here in portugal uh, you can see the room qualities here uh, and of course, the presentation is completely available on our website, so you can totally see that. You can see the conference facilities. You are you can see the bar. You know, very modern, very high end, very much you know to the liking of that four star, giving you that vibrancy of the quality project. Uh, you will see the uh, gym currently under construction, of course, and you know top of line uh, equipment. Uh, that is chosen and then we drive down the point home to the appraisal of the property as you noticed the total investment was 30 30 million and the property appraisal that we have received that is from an income approach on the sixth year of operations and the residual value is at 31.45 million 
This is basically to drive the point home that in the sixth year, when you are ready to do your buyback, we have the funds available to basically do after the six years, the guaranteed buyback, because our project is will be valued at that mark. Now, some of you may ask, oh, but you know, how can I be sure and everything? Well, I will tell you, no one can be 100% sure about anything, you know, because let's let's be honest about that. What happened in uh, uh, COVID? Hotels were shut down. Things were not to the likings of the hospitality owners. You know, the returns were promised but not given. However, what we are doing is a bit different. We're doing an upfront yield. We do not do any yield throughout the six years. We have the income approach where we have all of the income and the EBITDA cumulatively parked so that when your buyback is scheduled, this is you know basically the source of your buyback. And at the end of that six year, we are basically purchasing our hotel unit back and you are getting the uh, the the 280,000 investment that you originally invested. OK, so this is actually a very good and beneficial. Now, when you compare the 280 category of our hotel project, not another hotel project, because other hotel projects have various different nuances. If you compare our hotel project of 280 to an apartment, let's say you will be at least by 50 to 70,000 euros, you will be overpaying in taxes and furniture and renovation in, uh, you know, IMI and property management. So expect to pay that extra, extra, extra. Whereas in this project, it is all minus, minus, minus. Okay. So, um, you know, this is the basis of our investment. And let's talk about the Wyndham brand. Wyndham brand is a mother brand that we have basically been, you know, um, we are very happy to shake hands with uh, with the mega brand Wyndham and uh, the garden uh, specifically is a brand that is uh, more new, let's say, to Europe, but it is a very, very strong brand and you can Google and find out all the uh, different Wyndham brands that you have. Uh, Wyndham Garden brand specifically. Of course, we all know about Ramada, you know, so it's a very, very well known brand of Wyndham called Ramada. And we are also working with the other Wyndham, which is the Wyndham Residences in uh, in another one of our project as well. And we hope to launch other Wyndham brands in Portugal slowly as well as we as we move forward. OK, so this is the brand. The strength of the brand is quite strong, as, a, as you can see in Europe itself, they've got about north of 50,000 rooms in total like i mentioned earlier 9200 hotels uh, listed on the um, you know stock exchanges and a very very profitable company as you can see they have a strong free cash flow of 97 million they have a very very strong EBITDA of 191 million and these are the numbers as of i believe uh, september of last year so a very strong band one thing that is to be noted is that they have uh, the 20% is under new construction. Okay. Uh, sorry, 80% is under new construction and 20% is under uh, conversions. So this is actually a really good thing to uh, learn from this particular slide. These are some pictures, stock images from a Wyndham Grand uh, and how the final product could basically look like different. But these are some examples okay, of the of the brand quality. Okay. And you can see the mattress quality, you can see the finishings of the hotel, you can see the more modern, you know, look and feel. You will see, you know, how, uh, you know, the swimming pool, which is very similar to our deck, you know, so the overview of uh, to the lake, you know, very, very similar to our project. So you can see that. Coming down to, um, you know, our track record. So we have several projects also in uh, them. So this is not our first project in Portugal over the last five years. We have done several projects already. This actually the Palacio de Sal is our sixth project in Portugal now, uh, amongst other projects in other countries. And so this is one of the projects that we finished in uh, during during COVID as well. We have another project in the Saldania area. We have another project in the Carcavelos area. We have another project now in the Lorish area. So we have done several projects and, you know, some of them are already operational. Some of them are under construction. This is a Wyndham Residences project 
also eligible for golden visa. 80% of the villas are currently sold, still 20% remaining. So this is also, this is under the 500,000 category. So, you know, you are totally welcome to come and see this particular project if you are looking for a freehold property versus a co-ownership model, which is the Palacio Hotel. You know, really depend on, you know, what you want. If you want a guaranteed return of three to 6%, if you want, uh, you know, a freehold like, you know, a property only and solely in your name, go for the villa. You know, if you want uh, basically a low cost investment to get your immigration out, go for the hotel. So we have both of these projects hand in hand. And, uh, you know, this is something that we have a solution, one for everyone. Okay? And then finally, let me drive the point home. We will, uh, as a developer, assist you in entirety of your golden visa process. Okay, we will. We have teams here, basically, who will assist you with that. We will make the introductions. You make your decision to invest. You know, you, know, you appoint your legal counsel, opening up the bank account. You make that investment. All the documentation is taken care of by independent lawyers that represents your interest. And now, you know, even between three and six months, you know, these are timelines not ded dedicated by me, but uh, from, you know, experience and what now, uh, you know, we are seeing as results. So between three and six months, you have the biometrics and between another three and six months, you have your residency card. So be prepared for the full year, uh, but it could be sooner as well. And, you know, the, the expert team of lawyers is always dedicated to bringing your interest ahead uh, and making sure that you have, you know, your appointments, your follow-ups and everything else. Okay? So this is basically in a nutshell, the project, um, you know, and like I always say, like I've said before, this is absolutely the best backup plan for your generations. And uh, uh, so uh, here, here I have for you a very, very special project uh, near and dear to our heart. We have several investors already in the uh, in the pipeline we have several investors you know already being onboarded so we totally welcome you to send us a message go on to our website windomportugal.com sign up and see the project for yourself okay that's about it let me just take a few questions uh, you know one of the question here i have here is uh, uh, who is eligible for the golden visa so like I mentioned earlier, this is a complete black and white process. Okay, so this is not, uh, um, you know, you invest and we will think about it. This is completely black and white. So you make an investment, you fulfill the requirements and you have your residency card, you know, right now with some delay, but you know, that's, uh, that's okay, you know, as long as you achieve that. Okay, so um, there is no one that is not eligible for golden visa, anyone who can meet the basic requirements lined up by SEF is eligible for the golden visa. Okay. Uh, we have a question from uh, Bangladesh, I believe. Uh, can you explain the process of obtaining Portuguese golden visa through real estate investment? Okay. Um, I think I did. Uh, I hope uh, it was uh, you know clear to you. If, uh, if uh, um, you have any questions, you know, feel free to send a WhatsApp to that number, uh, you know, in front of your screen or an email and uh, more than happy to uh, answer even next steps and reservations and contracts and whatnot, okay? So more than happy to, to do that. Uh, we have one question uh, from uh, that was recommended to our team on Facebook. And they say, how can investors go about finding suitable properties for the Golden Visa program? Okay, so, um, you know, what I would recommend when you go on our site, you must go to the tab that is basically the um, eligibility. There is a Golden Visa eligibility column. Okay, and when you go on the Golden Visa eligibility page, you will see why this property is eligible for the Golden Visa. All the licenses are there. All the documentation is there. All the tax certificates are, are there. So you have enough evidence for you and your lawyer if you want to hire one on your own to see why this is eligible for the Golden Visa program. You know, And then we have, um, yeah, I believe those are all the questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to send a message uh, on the WhatsApp number or contact us, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, Twitter, Snapchat, no tender <laughs> anywhere else 
uh, you know, you can come and message us. You know, you're well, totally welcome to come to our office in uh, Befica and, uh, you know, uh, meet with us, uh, have a chat with uh, the legal team, have a chat with our processing team. And we're more than happy to answer any of your questions. That's it from me. Thank you very much. Again, signing off. This is uh, Rain Lakhani, President and CEO of the Lakhani Group. Thank you very much for your time. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.